Okay, so this is my Sony Google TV Blu-ray player box, um, which I have found a way to get into the recovery menu. So what I will be doing is showing you how to get into this recovery menu and uh, what we could possibly do with that in the future. So um, here's my TV and I have the power adapter which is plugged into a uh, wall AC outlet and I'll plug that I'll get ready to plug that in the back but first I'm going to press and hold the power button and because the awkward uh, control of this camera uh, I won't be able to show you holding it but trust me I am and I am going to plug in this I've plugged in and I hold this one two three so now the Sony comes up and wait a couple seconds and we're in the recovery menu the rec recovery mode so um, after you so down here at the bottom it says that you have to press connect to repair uh, the keyboard with your internet TV and um, here I have the keypad so what I have to do what you have to do is uh, go over here to next to the eject button in the USB there's a little thing here which says connect and press and hold that and now it says after a couple seconds it says ready, ready to be paired so I go over here and I'm going to press alt and enter I'm just going to press it and I'm going to press and hold starting now one two three four five and it says that um, I have to repair it but it is paired so, uh, for example, I'm going to press 4 on here just to unpair the keypad. To, uh, this is an example. Hopefully, it'll say something. And our remote pair is clear. So, um, I'm going to cancel it. So, some of the options here is factory data reset, set it to factory defaults. Um, I actually had to do this before when I screwed up some settings in the resolution. I didn't realize this was a 720 uh, TV, so I need to go in here and do the factory reset. So, um, that I could get back to set it to 720 and reset it from 1080. Um, system recovery, uh, replace files, I suppose. Uh, system update using USB, even though they advertise this as being updatable for Wi-Fi and everything. I guess they do give that option for, I'm guessing, in-store um, on pair keypad, which I just did. So system info, which I'll do that now. Um, some data here, so Google TV build. Hopefully, Google will be releasing the source code pretty soon. Um, 2.1 on both the package version and the Google TV is Android 2.1 which I was surprised because of you would think that this would be uh, 2.2 because it does have flash so uh, I'm going to press 1 and go to the next page and it's just check system crash summary but this hasn't crashed thankfully <laughs> So, uh, log copy, service mode, a, I guess manually eject the disk if the eject button isn't working, and I'm just going to exit, and then it starts up again, and launches back into regular Google TV. Wait a couple seconds. Yep, there it goes. And launches back into the regular Google TV. So I'm going to continue working on the development for this. Uh, hopefully, be able to run a couple of uh, custom applications. Be able to flash a couple, maybe possibly uh, some custom ROMs if I can get it booted. At the least, I want to try to install a terminal em emulator. I think that would be useful. So, uh,. Anybody who's doing this, please post updates here on the forum and uh, keep everybody updated. I think this is a great device to hack. Thanks.